Before we start this video, I want to recognize one of my giveaway winners who chose the channel shout out option. So shout out to Mr. Lofty. If you want to subscribe, the link will be down below in the description. What's up guys, this is AppleTech752 and in this video I'm going to show you how to turn off Find My iPhone and gain full access to the Apple ID that's on your iOS 6, iOS 7, or iOS 8 passcode lock, disabled, or open menu device. This awesome new feature uses the latest and greatest Sliver 6.0 update and I can't wait to show you guys exactly how this works. Let's get started. To begin, if you haven't already downloaded Sliver 6.0, you can easily download it from my website at appletech752.com. On the main page, you'll see this awesome new application. All you have to do is click download now or just click on the app itself and you'll get a DMG file in your downloads folder. As soon as the download is complete, all you have to do is drag this DMG file out onto your desktop and double click it to open, then click on skip. And in just a few moments, you'll get this neat little pop-up right here. All you have to do is drag Sliver right into your applications folder and then click on replace and it should copy it over in just a few seconds. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and close this window and move both of these to our trash. All right, once you have Sliver in your applications folder, then all you have to do is click on the launch pad and then scroll over until you find Sliver, should be somewhere around here. Then go ahead and click it and boom, as you guys can see, we are inside the brand new Sliver version 6.0. Today, we're gonna take a look at the full passcode bypass Find My iPhone extraction option. This option basically allows us to turn off Find My iPhone on our passcode locked A4, A5, and A6 devices that are running iOS 6, iOS 7, or iOS 8. As you guys can see when I fire up CheckRain right now, this version is 8.0.2 for this iPhone 5C, but if you have iOS 6 or iOS 7, then this will also work perfectly. My iPhone 5C right here is on the lock screen. As you guys can see, it has a passcode and I do not know the passcode for this device, but we're still gonna be turning off Find My iPhone with this method. Let's get started. All we're gonna do is click on the get started and load RAM disk button and it is prompting us to check our IMEI and serial number. This is a really important step because if your device is find my iPhone off, then you can go ahead and restore in iTunes or 3 tools, and you're gonna go straight back to the setup screen with no iCloud activation lock. So it's really important that you make sure your device is actually find my iPhone on. Once you know it's on, go ahead and click that and then click this button again. And as you guys can see, it is an experimental feature. Not all devices will be successful. This method has about a 70% success rate and it only supports iOS 6, 7, 8, A4 through A6 and open menu passcode and disable. So once you understand that, click on continue and perfect. Now it's time to load a RAM disk. That sounds good. So we're gonna go back here and go into the RAM disk iCloud bypass section. And from here, click on bypass A6 devices and select your model. You can also use A5 devices or even A4 devices. Any of these options will work fine depending on your device. I'm gonna choose the iPhone 5C and we're gonna begin by going into DFU mode. So let's go ahead and hold the power and the home buttons at the exact same time. Siri not available, connect to the internet. And as you guys can see, as soon as the screen turns black, I waited about two seconds and now I let go of the power button and I'm still holding the home button. And in just a moment here, we should get an iTunes pop-up. Perfect, just click okay, quit iTunes. And inside of Sliver, all we're gonna do is click on enter pawn DFU mode. And we were very, very lucky that the exploit worked on the first try. I did completely redesign the iPod DFU exploit section. So it's actually going to tell you either exploit failed or exploit worked. And if it says exploit failed, it's going to give you a button to try again. So all you have to do is just keep trying over and over again, and you should get it in no more than 15 tries. I'd say 15 is about the max. So let's click OK. And now we're going to go ahead and load either the standard or the alternate. If you're on a higher version like Catalina or Big Sur, I definitely recommend the alternate, but since I am on Mac OS High Sierra, I'm gonna go with the standard. Here we go, we should get a few iTunes pop-ups, and when we get one that looks like this, 
we can go ahead and click cancel, quit iTunes, and in just a moment here, we're gonna get a nice solid verbose boot on the screen. So now we can click OK, and let's relay device info, and click yes, and got it. Perfect, now we are all ready to continue with the next steps of this find my iPhone off method. So let's go back here, back again, and then go into full passcode bypass, find my iPhone extraction, and as you'll notice, this next button is now highlighted so we can click OK. And yes, there is a RAM disk logo on the screen. It's this nice little face logo. So yes, and cool. Now we can go ahead and mount the file system. So let's click this button and make sure you select your iOS version. Once again, all you have to do to check the iOS is open up check rain in normal mode and it will tell you we are on iOS 8. So let's click this one. And as you guys can see, the file system mount step is completed. So let's click OK. And this export a test file option is really useful because it lets you know whether or not the SSH connection is working. So we're gonna click this and click export file. And as you guys can see, there is now this file on our desktop. We actually don't need to do anything with it. In fact, we can move it to the trash if we want to. But the most important thing is the fact that the file did get transferred, yes and okay, perfect. Now we're ready for the final step, which is actually to fetch the Apple ID, which we'll use to turn off Find My iPhone. So let's click this button. And as you guys can see, if successful, you will be guaranteed to turn off Find My iPhone in 27 days or less. As I mentioned, this process has about a 70% success rate for factors which I'm going to explain in a little bit. But for now, let's click on Start and you will need to enter your computer password. If you want to turn off Wi-Fi, you absolutely can because this is an offline process. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my password right now. It's just used for one simple command. Perfect, and once you have your password in there, all you have to do is click on Submit. And boom, just like this, the device is supported for Find My iPhone Off. And as you guys can see, we have a phone number and an Apple ID, and Sliver gives us all the instructions we need to go ahead and reset this password. But I'm gonna walk you guys through these steps right now so that you know everything about turning off Find My iPhone. All right, so over here on the left, we have the Sliver pop-up with all the information we need. And over here on the right, I'm recording my iPhone 6S on iOS 14, and I currently have the Apple Support app installed. You're gonna wanna go to the App Store and just search for Apple Support, and go ahead and download this application right here. And then once you have this app, go ahead and open it up. And then where it says your device, click on passwords and security and reset Apple ID password. Finding your best options, go ahead and click on get started. And now when it gives you two different options, make sure to select a different Apple ID and then click on continue. And now we're gonna go ahead and enter the Apple ID that Sliver gave us in this pop-up. So as you can see, this Apple ID is camplo713 at gmail.com. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter this into the Apple support app. All right, this Apple ID is copied over exactly the same as it is in Sliver. So once that's done, you can click on next and it's gonna ask for the trusted phone number. So all we have to do is type in this phone number right up here. Keep in mind that the one is not necessary. So if there's some sort of country code at the beginning of the phone number, you do not need to enter that. All right, once the phone number has been copied, go ahead and click next and click on can't get to your other Apple devices and now click on send code and click on didn't get a verification code and can't use this number. And click on continue anyways. And now click on can't use this email address and continue. And now we need to enter a phone number that we have access to. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and enter the phone number of a different phone. And as you guys can see, I just got a verification code on this other phone. So go ahead and enter this verification code and boom, as you guys can see, password reset requested. We are evaluating your information to determine when you'll be able to reset your password. 
and by this time tomorrow, we will contact this email. So what this basically means, guys, is that if this Apple ID is active, meaning the old owner still uses it, they're gonna be able to shut down this password reset at any time. But the good news for most older devices on iOS 6, 7, and 8 is that the Apple IDs are completely abandoned by the owner. So likely this is some old email that is completely abandoned and never checked so at the end of this waiting period, you're actually gonna be able to reset their password and gain full access to their Apple ID. And just in case some of you guys are skeptical and not sure whether this method actually works, here's proof right here. I have done this on five other devices and I just signed in to iforgot.apple.com with the Apple ID and phone number that Sliver provided for one of my devices and as you can see, it says you will be able to reset your password in nine days. The original waiting period that you all should expect is 27 days, and that's exactly what I got too. But I've been logging on almost every single week and just watching the days tick down. And it went from 27 to 20 to 15, and now I'm at nine days. So really soon here, guys, I'm actually gonna get a text message and be able to gain full access to this Apple ID and turn off Find My iPhone. And when that happens, I'm gonna be posting an update on instagram.com slash appletech752, so make sure you follow me there. If you have any questions about how the method works or you get something that you're confused about, you can always make a post on reddit.com slash r slash setup app. I'm always on there online waiting to help people with interesting bypass stuff. Until next time, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have a great day and peace out.